Hey guys, welcome back. So, today we're doing modified leather armors. What we have tonight, today is ring mail and banded mail. Banded mail has bands of steel that run up and down it. Um, as a bit of a reinforcement. Ring mail has a series of rings on top of it. Usually held in place by these bands of leather. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try our usual arrows. Uh, there is a huge risk of arrows bouncing or shattering when this happens. So we're going to be using safety gear. We're going to be a safe distance away while firing. And please do not try this one at home. Nice. <laughs> well, that doesn't prove anything. <laughs> what do you mean? It doesn't prove anything. Seems like I can hit the sweet spot occasionally. That was actually just like perfect Oops. shot. It didn't even get guided in by the steel at all. That one there, I heard a click. Most of the from where it just bounced yeah. over and hit. Again, we got the leather. No, you you clipped it. You can feel it right here. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, there it is. So all it did was slide right over. Yeah, you can see right there on the arrow where it hit. Yeah. All it did was slide it right over. Didn't stop it at all. Now, if I hit it directly, of course it's going to stop it, but. Well, let's see. You can uh, nail the ring now. This is the one I'm worried about bounce. That one's got a little bit more spring back. Yeah, I hit the ring right here. No, no, that's where it's. That's the weld? Yeah, it's the weld, never mind. Um, yeah, it's the weld. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Well, I think that's where you think. All right. Hello. Apparently, I'm not hitting the metal. Well, no, you you hit the metal on that one. I heard it. Yeah, but in between, like, I hit in the center. Well, it definitely does stop the arrow pretty good. So, ring mail is definitely reinforcing this pretty good. Oh. I'm good at putting it right the edge where I need to put it. Apparently. Yeah, the banded mail is having like no effect on stopping this. Just because I'm shooting between the bands. Well, no, you are clicking the band against the bands. What it's doing is, as it hits, it's just shifting the arrow into alignment yeah. with the uh, band, so it goes straight in. Yeah. It's not hitting perpendicular and stopping it. It's actually hitting a little bit of an angle. Do you think and it was shifting, just twisting the leather though? Yeah. Doing that. Oh. All we can do is keep shooting. Yep. There we go. That's about as perpendicular as you can get. You can actually see where the dirt jumped off the arrow onto the steel. Yep. Seems like kind of awesome. Only about an inch penetration. But we were getting a bit better when it was lining up proper. Yep. It bit in, but it's done no damage to the steel. It's not even slowing it, so. Did 
That was good. That was on the rings itself. Yep. That's right here. You can even see it. Little tiny nick in the steel. You can see the nick right on the arrowhead. Tip. Oh, Tip. that's going to need sharpening. Yep. But it did next to no damage to the leather itself. Yep. So now comes the fun part. The dagger? Dagger. Dagger. Dagger stabbing. So, since we know this here, if running parallel to the bars is going to go through, we're going to have to try going perpendicular. And what's going to happen is we're going to damage the tip, so we're going to wind up sharpening the dagger once or twice. Got about a half inch of penetration, not much. Nope. I'm not getting much. No. Nope. You're better at stabbing than I am, so I'll sharpen. There I hit on either side of the blade and the tip. I actually uh, dulled the tip on the, the bar. You can see where I nicked. Here you go. You got through one or right between them? Between them. Between? Yep. Awesome. I kind of hit the rings and just uh, turned the blade and put rings into the opening. That's not too bad. I stopped it. Now yeah, there's a lot more resistance for sure when I'm hitting the. I'm hitting those uh, rings, rings there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see where I'm here. Here. I'll throw that on the camera. Yeah. It's starting to get to be a minefield of armors down here. So what we have here. Oh. Yep. What'd you hit? Right in the middle of the metal. Oh, how's your hand? I'm good. <laughs> so what but, we have uh, here is a series of cut marks, but structurally none of the rings are falling out or losing any real strength or structure to it. All the stabs were stopped by the rings except one. And that's where the blade was guided between them. So, all in all, a ring mill is pretty tough. Yeah. As you can see on the tip, oh, yeah. blunt of it. Yeah. Uh, landing right on the tip from, on this uh, wow. banded mail really, really stopped up that, dra that dagger. That and the bay out definitely going though. Everything has a breaking point, so what we're going to try to do now is use the axe and the hammer. Definitely scored the bars, but no real damage to Kevin. The ring mail, however, let a lot more of the force pass through because each of these only blocks a, sm a small space and distributes the force of a blow in that little location. The banded mail distributes it vertically on each of the bands across. So when I hit three of the bands, all three of them spread out the force of that blow in long segments. When I hit 
these three rings, what happened was it only spread it out in these little tiny rings. So a lot more of the force went through and you can see a dent in Kevin and a ring impression where that force carried in. It's great at stopping cutting blows, not at stopping force. Let's get the, the hammer. Well, actually, let's use the corbeal and then we'll do the hammer. Yep. The corbeal has a very nicely tapered point. So what we're trying, to, what we're hoping to do right now is that this will get inside one of the rings and break it from the inside. Denting it. <laughs> yep. I'm getting this guy here. Hit between them. That layer of leather in behind it, right back here, really reinforces it, and the point of the corbeal won't even, won't even grab, mm. won't even get in. So, let's try bludgeoning. I leave it to you. I would say lodging his uh, armor into his lungs would probably kill him. Yeah, probably. I, I, I can actually get my fingers right through Kevin. The, there's nothing. Oh, hey, I think I found the arrowhead. <laughs> uh, there's not much left to him now. Just enough for one last test. All right. Well, I guess one last pair of tests, eh? You want to smash the banded mail before we get on sure. to the last two? Sure. So you think your axe can take it? Armor's bane. Oh. Nope. Well, that's good. Okay. As you guys can see, Armor's Bane has done a pretty good job on this. We're going to have to start resorting to Armor's Bane more often now. <laughs> yeah. As we get into heavier and heavier armors, more and more will be worth taking the time. To face armor's mate. You completely blew out two of the, two of the rivets, eh? Mm hmm Completely gone. That's, I'd hate to be the guy in this. Like, that's ribs. Oh, that's yeah. A, that's a dead man. That's stronger than ribs. So next, we're going to be doing heavy gauge leather. This is leather that's in excess of a quarter inch. And we also have some wax hardened heavy gauge leather. We're going to see how well that stands up to our toys. Stick around.